This is a simplified version of an armillary sphere. It is an early astronomical device used to represent various celestial objects and related terms. Brahmagupta, a famous Indian mathematician and astronomer, in his book Brahmasputta Siddhanta, devoted a complete chapter to armillary sphere, also known as Golayantra. Armillary sphere was used as a teaching device and not as a measuring tool. Armillary means consisting of hoops and rings. These two rings represent the celestial sphere. This is celestial north pole and this one south pole. Ring has degrees marked on the upper part. This is the celestial equator. This plane represents the observer's horizon. These are the cardinal directions for the observer. East, West, North and South. The equator and poles of the celestial sphere can be considered as an extension to the Earth's equator and poles. This outer ring represents ecliptic. This is the path sun takes throughout the year. It is inclined at an angle of 23 and half degrees to the celestial equator. Celestial sphere rotates while the earth or horizon in the middle remains stationary. The sun moves on the ecliptic east to west one revolution per day, but also has a long term motion west to east along the ecliptic of 1 degree per day. Calendar marked on the ecliptic can be used to position the sun. This will help us understand various events associated with it. At these two points, the ecliptic crosses the celestial equator. This is vernal equinox, March 21st. And this is autumnal equinox, September 22nd. Maximum elevation of the ecliptic above the equator is the point of summer solstice. Longest day of the year is June 21st. This point is winter solstice, December 22nd. Whole sphere can be tilted like this. Platform can be adjusted to remain horizontal after the tilt. Let us tilt the plane for location Pune, India, which is at the latitude of approximately 18 degrees north. North Celestial Pole has an altitude of 18 degrees. Celestial Equator is 72 degrees above the horizon. Let's position sun here. This point is vernal equinox, March 21st, when days and nights are equal. Sun moves along the celestial equator. On this day, sun rises exactly in the east and sets exactly in the west. Summer solstice is on 21st June. Sun rises north of east and sets north of west. September 22nd is autumn equinox. Sun rises exactly in the east and sets exactly in the west again. December 22nd is winter solstice, shortest day and longest night in the northern hemisphere. On this day, sun is at its lowest daily maximum elevation. How about the north pole? Let us place it vertically up like this. Can you guess the duration of days and nights at different times of the year? Planning to use metal rings instead of plastic one in the next version with more markings.
This is the first version I built with acrylic and 3D printed parts. Ecliptic was inside and too small to cover the letters. I would like to thank UNL.edu for educating me on this interesting early astronomical device. Thank you.